flexible dieting, the way that I view it, it's a way of eating that allows you to achieve your goals without feeling guilt or shame when you aren't necessarily on track. And that's what I think is going to allow people to develop the healthiest relationship with food. When number one, you're eating in a way that supports achieving your goals. So if you wanna lose fat, you're losing fat. If you wanna build muscle, you're building muscle. But it's not creating any anxiety or worry or fear or guilt or shame around the foods you're eating, around the idea that some foods are good or bad, around the ideas that some food are inherently fattening, around the ideas that some food are inherently dirty or you should never eat them. That's what flexible dieting is. It's being able to say 80% of the time, you're going to eat in a way that supports your goals, that supports your physique-based goals, that supports your performance-based goals, that allows you to lose fat and build muscle and get stronger. And the 20% of time that you don't necessarily stick to it, it's okay. You didn't screw up. It's not a problem. Just get back on track. And this is where that confusion comes in, where a lot of people, when you only hear people talking about just get right back on track and there's no such thing as a good or bad food, when you take it to that extreme of, oh, well, then that just means I can eat as much as, I, as much as I want all the time, but then they get frustrated that they're not making progress, this is where we have that, that like headbutting in this industry. Flexible dieting still allows you to make progress towards your goals. There's just no guilt or shame when you do go off track. But you have to remember, if you want to make progress and your goals are physique related, body fat, strength, muscle, there's gonna have to be some form of strictness, some form of rigidity. It doesn't mean that you have to feel bad or guilty or shameful when you aren't on track, but it does mean that if you have goals that you want to prioritize, there has to be some level of dedication involved that maybe is a little bit difficult. And this is almost taboo to say in the fitness industry these days. It's almost taboo to say that you aren't going to give in to your every single desire. It's almost taboo to say that you should stick to something even during times where you might not want to, which to me is mind blowing. It's like if you want to accomplish anything, you can't just give in to your every desire. You're going to have to make sacrifices. And this is to me what flexible dieting is. Being able to make these sacrifices that you want to make to achieve the goals that you want, that you've defined for yourself. No one else has defined for you, you've defined them. But when you do have the times that you do go off track or you go on vacation or maybe you sleep in or whatever it is, and then you end up deciding that like, you know what, or it's a birthday party or it could be anything, an anniversary. You do go off track, you don't get mad or upset or guilty or anxiety ridden, you just get back on track. And that is flexible dieting.